Hello friends, today we are going to install D-Link Smart AC 3000 High Power Wi-Fi Tri-Band Gigabit Mesh Router Model DIR3040 for the internet connection So we are going to see the different modes which we have on this DIR3040 uh, different features and uh, the installation uh, for the internet All right so let us see how we are going to do it firstly we need to turn on the device we need to connect a LAN cable from the laptop to the D-Link router uh, on the LAN number 1 uh, which I have connected right now on the LAN number 1 and at the back side if you see you have a yellow slot which is called as WAN slot also called as internet a slot you can connect your internet cable to the internet port of the router Alright, so once we connect a cable from the laptop to the D-Link router DIR3040 You need to open up the browser and you need to enter the IP address which is 192.168.0.1 So once you open that, you will get the wizard So you will get the terms of use and privacy, privacy policy Just have to click on agree then this wizard will guide you through step by step process to configure your new dealing device so you can click on next it will try to sync the internet connection it will try to identify the internet connection type now in my scenario I already have the internet connection as dynamic alright so it will automatically try to identify what type of connection you have if it is a triple PoE connection, it will give you a prompt for username password which you will have to enter which is given by your internet service provider In the similar way, if it is a static IP, you will get a static IP address over here Static IP, uh, uh, subnet mask, default gateway, primary DNS and secondary DNS which is provided by your internet provider Okay, So then you just have to click on next So once you click on next, you, you will have the option to uh, set the Wi-Fi name and a password so I'm keeping the same one I'm not changing the password this is the device admin password which you need to set up uh, I'm setting it up as admin123 then click on next select the time zone click on next keep up my device to automatically you can just click on next this will give you a summary you just have to click on next and then you just have to wait for some time while the device will get reboot you will see the number of lights on the device will turn to orange and then white just wait all the LEDs goes to white so once it is white that means you are online through the router So we'll just wait for a couple of more seconds. Yes. So admin password is admin123. So once you log in, you'll be able to see the screen which says cable status connected connection type DHCP. Alright, you can see the status, internet connected, cable status connected, connection tie dynamic IP, network status connected. You can see the IP address from my internet service provider, IP address subnet mask default gateway which is a DHCP. The status shows internet connected so that means the internet is up and running, you should be able to access the net. Now if you want to check wirelessly, then you can just scan for the network name. In just check what is the name which is given so here this is the name for the Wi-Fi you can change it if you want and keep DIR3040 ok password I have given the same so this is a by default mesh device it also has smart connect button if you disable this button, you will get two Wi-Fi 
name which is traditional to network names now this is a tri band router which means you will get two uh, two 5 gigahertz network one will be the primary and one will be the secondary you can connect any of it okay so 2.4 you can set the name for it you can set the name for the 5 gigahertz also can name say set the name for the secondary now if the smart connect is disabled uh, enabled you will get only one network name all right so that name you'll be able to see on all the devices which you are trying to connect to the router so i'm keeping the same uh, password i'm just changing the name just have to click on save just wait for some time let the setting save properly So it is saying when reconnecting to the device, please use the new Wi-Fi name and password you created. So whatever name which we have created, you'll be able to see at the right side bottom of the laptop. So this is the name for the Wi-Fi. So I have to click on it, click on connect, enter the password. I have not changed the password. So once it is connected, you should be able to access the internet. See, this is the IP address which I am getting from the router and this says internet so that means I am able to access the internet right now. Okay. Now if you are disabling the smart connect then you will get three networks. So one will be the 2.4, one will be the primary 5G and one will be the secondary 5G. You can change the network name, change the password which of choice, your choice and you should be able to access the internet pretty fine. Okay. So uh, that's it for the internet configuration. Thank you.